Okay, Rob, so 34.5 k's in, sitting at uh, Cleveland Point and having a muesli bar. Because I'm dying. It's been a long week. But anyway, legs are really tired, but now that I'm going with the wind, picked up a bit of speed. So it's not too bad. I actually got here a bit quicker than I thought. But you don't want to hear me gab on, you want to see what it's like, so here you goes, I'll show you. Well there's the bike. Always gotta get a shot of the bike. But anyway, this is Cleveland Point. Wellington Point is back out that way. Where that car's blocking it. So about 12k away, something like that, by the bike. So there you're looking out to the north. Um, yeah, this view, heading around. So we're getting out to the east now, and you can see the Bay Islands out the side. Kind of see the Bay Islands, they're a bit far away. But um, the Stratty out there, um, Peel Island, Coochie Mudlow. The Holic Islands out there, and um, most of them accessible by car barge or, or a ferry. Australia itself is a really nice place to go, especially the other side where the surf is. Um, but this place here, uh, if memory serves me right, was going to be a, the port for Brisbane back in the day when they were first discovering the whole place. But then they found Brisbane River and decided to settle up up in, I guess, where Brisbane is now. But um, just a little bit of history about the place. It's got an old lighthouse over there, which is not used anymore. It's a monument because they built well, they did build a lighthouse, an electronic lighthouse. But it looks like that's gone now too, which is amazing because I've only just noticed. It um, used to sit there, it used to be a great big column structure, and it's not there now. So they mustn't be worried about boats running onto the shore here. But anyway, this is Cleveland Point for you. Hope you liked it, and um, I'll see you later.